hello students welcome back to engineers academy do hit the subscribe button if you are here for the first time now we are going to solve this example from chapter 2 mechanics of materials by rc hibler and the example says that the slender rod shown in figure 2 4 is subjected to an increase of temperature along its axis which creates a normal strain in the rod as a function of z we are given the normal strain as a function of z so we are given that ez is equal to 40 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 z to the power 1 divided by 2 so this means that as we move along the axis of this uh, rod the strain increases the, ch the change in length per unit length increases so this means that uh, at the end b there will be more elongation as compared to the elongation here at the mid length so we are asked to determine the displacement of the end b of the rod due to the temperature incre increase so if let's say that if the temperature increases then this is the then this much is the elongation in the rod so we can say that the initial length of the rod is let's say z which is 200 mm so we can say that this is equal to z so if the final length is let's say z dash after elongation let's see that this length is if this length is z dash then in part a of the problem we are asked to determine the displacement of the a and b so let's say that this is the new location of a and b this is let's say b dash so the displacement of the a and b is let's say represented by delta b so we are asked to find delta b so in part a you want to find delta b and which is clear from the diagram that delta b will be equal to z dash minus z and in part b it is said that determine the average normal strain in the rod determine the average normal strain in the rod so the average normal strain in the rod a b will be equal to the the change in length so which is z dash minus z divided by the original length so first of all uh, since we are given the strain as a function of z so for that we have to consider a small differential element of um, of this slender rod so let's say that from somewhere here i take a differential element of of length dz so let's say this is the differential element which is having the initial length as dz and after some elongation its final length is dz dash so we can say that the the strain in the this differential element will be equal to dz dash which is the final length of the differential element minus the initial length of the differential element divided by the initial length of the differential element so if i multiply both sides of this equation with dz so we can say that dz dash minus dz is equal to ez into dz or we can say that dz dash is equal to uh, plus dz or we can say dz plus ez into dz so we can say that dz dash is equal to dz and now we are given ez as a function of z so we can say this is equal to 40 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 z to the power 1 divided by 2 dz and now if i integrate both sides of the equation so this will give us z dash which is the final length of the slender rod after the increase in temperature so this will be the elongation and this integration will be from 0 to 0 0.2 because the length of the rod is because this integration is with respect to z so the, the maximum the maximum value of the z is 200 mm this is z is equal to 200 mm but since in the problem it is said that this is the strain as a function of z where z is measured in meters so we have to convert this 200 mm into meters so 200 divided by 1000 is 0 0.2 so we can say that we have to integrate this from 0 to 0 0.2 so we will write that is 0 to 0 0.2 meters 
so now if i integrate this this will be equal to z dash this will be equal to z from 0 to 0 0.2 plus 40 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 the integration of z 1 divided by to the power 1 divided by 2 is this and this is from 0 to 0 0.2 and 1 divided by 2 plus 1 is 3 divided by 2 so we will have z to the power 3 divided by 2 divided by 3 divided by 2 so if i put these limits this will be 0 0.2 minus 0 plus 0 0.2 to the power 3 divided by 2 divided by 3 divided by 2 so this will give us the final length of the slender rod 0 0.2 plus 40 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 multiply by 0 0.2 to the power 3 divided by 2 divided by 3 divided by 2 so this gives me z dash equals to 0 0.202 385 and this is in meters and if I multiply this answer with 1000, so this Z dish is equal to 202.385 mm. So we can say that the elongation is 2.385. So this is the final length. Now the, the displacement uh, of the end B, the displacement of the end B is delta B, which will be equal to Z dash minus Z. So delta B is equal to Z dash minus Z. So now we can say that for part A, delta B is equal to Z dash minus Z. So Z dash is this, which is 202.385 minus 200. This is equal to 2.385. So this is the displacement in the end B of the slender rod after the increase in temperature. And similarly for part B, we are the average normal strain. So the average strain in rod AB will be equal to the change in length divided by the original length. So the change in length is basically this is delta B divided by Z and delta B is 2.385 mm divided by 200 so we can say that this answer divided by uh, we can say 2.385 divided by 200 so this is equal to the average normal strain in the slender rod is 0 0.011925 millimeter per millimeter so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope this will help you in your learning do subscribe engineers academy for the solution of such more problems from mechanics of materials by rc hibler